You are listening to KFUG Community Radio, 101.1 FM, and streaming online at kthugradio.org. This is KFUG Community News with Avi Kritz and Walker True. If you've noticed a sudden increase in unfamiliar use with hammers and power drills, don't be alarmed. They're here to help. These are volunteer workers who are a part of the Sierra Service Project, a nonprofit organization based out of Sacramento that was founded in 1975. Originally affiliated with the United Methodist Church, this project welcomes anyone with a good attitude and willingness to learn. The Sierra Service Project is focused on bringing young volunteers from around the country to areas that could use a little TLC. This includes lawn clearing, home repair, and even some construction for homeowners who need it. If a homeowner has a need for a ramp, yard work, or other minor repairs, all they have to do is fill out a short application that will be answered quickly by the supervisors of the Sierra Service Project. From there, supervisors will come take a look at the property and make sure the conditions are safe for the volunteers. After that, it's up to the youth to work together. These folks are obviously doing some good work, so who are these volunteers and why have they joined the Sierra Service Project? We met with a group currently working on projects at KFUG DJ Don Ritter's house to ask them their thoughts and motivations for contributing to this project. Here is Emily Plukas from Santa Monica, California, speaking about her experiences with visiting these work sites. I mean, I'd say the easiest answer is to help those that need help. Um, but I really come just to make new connections with people. Um, there's so many connections I make with a homeowner and just like learning their story, it's like really eye-opening. I learn all the new perspectives and then people on my work team, I develop connections and like learn how to talk to people. In addition to bonding with other youth participants and making some meaningful connections, they also gain some useful skills, as Smith River Site Director Kelsey Curry explains. It, it, it takes so many shapes, the different right. kinds of skills that they can learn. Um, I think the main one is how to use power tools. Um, I think a lot of groups are kind of scared when we're like, oh, yeah, you have sixth graders, we're going to give them circ saws and we're going to teach them how to use those babies safely. Um, but we really don't discriminate by age or, or gender when it comes to giving people tools and letting them try them out. Um, so definitely, you know, safe ways to use different kinds of tools, circ saws, chop saws, hammers, um, you know, screwdrivers, I feel like those are pretty easy, but just things that maybe youth don't always come in contact with because a lot of the times youth are told like, no, you're not old enough to work with these tools or to build. And so putting them in, in their hands has been really good to teach them, you know, I can do this and I can do this safely and with confidence. But these kids gaining confidence and knowledge doesn't just benefit the homeowners they're helping. It can also improve the communities they will return to. Do the work in the community that's meaningful to the community, but also to intentionally create a community of volunteers that can then take those lessons of, of who we are and why we do this and why we build this community and take those lessons back home to our home communities so that the, the good work that we're doing here is extended into our own homes. But why are they volunteering to do this work for total strangers? And more importantly, why are they coming here to do it? Especially given the fact that they fundraise throughout the year to contribute to the cost of the program, including food, project materials, and other necessities. The cost of lodging, however, is covered, as the Sierra Service Project has found a home in Delnart County through the Smith River Methodist Church. Not only does this space provide shelter, it can also lend itself to more community building. They let us basically take over their entire church, um, and their kitchen, and their sanctuary, community hall, um, for most of the week and we try to accommodate with them what spaces they need and what spaces we can't use but they're very good about letting us use that space for all of our volunteers. At its core, the Sierra Service Project is all about volunteers going out into the world to do some good for those who need it. The bonds they build with the homeowners as well as each other create important connections that are strengthened every year when the volunteers come back for another outing. The heart of this project is best explained by Kelsey Curry in this anecdote about another service site in Chiloquin, Oregon and the problem they faced last year. I think the experience that sums up just Sierra Service Project in general, mm -hmm. general to me it would be hard really to pick a project right. because projects look so different across the board and you know the youth might enjoy building a ramp more than they enjoy painting but both make such a huge impact on a homeowner's life. So that experience would probably be last year, we call it Mega Week, um, and I'll explain a little bit about what that was. So we have an, um, a pretty close site in Chiloquin, Oregon that also does Sierra Service Project. Um, and they have the projects up there. It's about four four-ish hours away. And there was a lot of fires up there last year. And so they were spending a lot of their time inside the gym up there, not being able to work. The youth were getting antsy. The counselors were getting antsy. But it was just a safety issue where they, they weren't able to work with the smoke and the fires being so close. So kind of as a Sierra Service Project whole and as a team here, um, we're like, you know what? How about they all come down that whole site and just kind of move them over to Smith River We'll find projects, we'll find places for them to sleep, um, 
we'll build that community here together. So about on Wednesday, our, our project runs from Sunday to Saturday. Um, so on Wednesday they came down and we just integrated them so fully into our, into our community here, which was really cool on a working level of like having two or three teams on one ramp and like letting them communicate and build together. Um, but also in a community aspect of being like, let's all eat meals together. You know, some people are going to have to sit outside. We're going to have to like rotate seating. We're going to have to have a bunch more people washing dishes, but just kind of the energy and the spirit that came with that was amazing. Um, so I feel like that really, to me, emphasizes what SSP can be of just this sometimes improvising, sometimes flexible group of people that want to serve and want to build and want to grow in their faith, but also in community together. This has been KFUG Community News with Walker True and Avi Kritz. Thanks for listening.